You've dutifully downloaded the ORS and SRS. You've opted to use one of the electronic systems for administering, scoring, and interpreting the tools. Fit outcomes, my outcomes, or open fit. Using your laptop or desktop or even an iPad, you administer the scales to the clients. Maybe you're even doing this online. After all, platforms like Zoom allow you to administer the measures to the client while they're in the meeting with you. They complete the ORS and they hit the save button. And suddenly a graph appears, a very colorful graph, red, yellow, and green. What exactly do these colors mean? In short, these colorful zones indicate whether or not the client is on track for a successful outcome at the end of care. But a question that I get routinely at trainings is how representative is this graph of individual clients? So let's talk about what these graphs are not. First, they do not depict average change over time. They are also not percentiles of a large database of clients. And finally, they don't indicate how clients should progress. If you've been using an outcome tool like the ORS, then you know that the individual pathways that clients can take in their progress over the course of care are near infinite. At one time, we taught that a change of five points or more between sessions was an indication that the client was on track. But such static measures, being averages, overestimate the amount of change for some and underestimate the amount of change for others to indicate whether or not they're on track in care. In order to help the therapist determine whether their individual client was on track or not, we needed a system, a feedback system, that captured all of the different ways that clients make progress. That green line separating the yellow and the green zone is the minimum amount of change that a client has to experience in order to be on track. By contrast, the red line that separates the yellow and the red zone is the maximum amount of change a client could experience and still be off track. That of course leaves the yellow zone in between. What does that mean? The client has not experienced enough change to be either deemed on track or off track. Which leads me to today's fit tip. Knowing in real time whether a client is on track or off track provides us with a crucial opportunity to either reinforce the change that's taking place or have a conversation with the client about what might need to be adjusted in the service in the event that the scores are off track, thereby improving the chances of a successful outcome at the end of care. Music